In this video, let us look into the distributive law of sets. All right, here we are. Uh, if A, B, and C are any three sets, then A union of B intersection C will be equal to A union B intersection A union C. So what we saw now, that is A union of B intersection C equals A union of B intersection of A union C is for the union operation on sets. Now let us look into the intersection operation on sets. We have A intersection of B union C. Then it will be equal to A intersection B union of A intersection C. So both of, both of the laws say that the union operation on set and the intersection operation on set, both of them are distributive. All right. So it's like, you know, 2 times 3 plus 4 is equal to 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. That's what it is. So something like that. It's like very similar to the multiplication you know, the way we apply the distributive law to multiplication is very similar to that, this particular law. But anyways, let us quickly look into an example or an illustration to, to further understand the concept of distributive law of sets. All right, here we are. Let uh, there be three sets. A equals 1, 2, 3 and B equals 2, 3, 4 and C equals 3, 4, 5. Let's simply apply to this one and see if it holds good. So what we have is uh, A union of B intersection C. So a union of B intersection C is nothing but B intersection C is nothing but if you see 3 and 4 are the same. So write 3 comma 4 here and A is 1 comma 2 comma 3. So A union of B intersection of C will be equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now is it the same for even this one? Let's see. A union B intersection of A union C. So A union B will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So let us see what is the intersection of A union of C. A union of C will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what is the intersection of these two sets? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4 because 5 does not exist in this set, right? So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the same, right? So therefore, A union of B intersection C is equal to A union of B intersection of A union of C. Similarly, let us check out for the intersection operation on sets. So say we have A intersection of B union C. B union C will be 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? So 2, 3, 4, 5 is B union of C. A is going to be just 1, 2, 3. So what is the intersection of these two? It will be just 2, 3. So A intersection of B union C will be equal to 2, 3. Let's see what is it for this one. A intersection B union of A intersection C. A intersection of B will be 2, 3. 2 and 3 are the same in A intersection of B. And A intersection C will be just 3. Only the 3 is same. So now, 2, 3 union 3 will be what? Just 2, 3, right? So therefore, they are also equal. And therefore, the intersection operation is also proved to be distributive. I mean, it's just, you know, an example to show you how it is applied. And it also kind of acts like a proof. Not exactly a proof, but kind of a proof. So this is also true. That is A intersection of B union C is definitely equal to A intersection of B union A intersection of C. All right. So that ends this video on the distributive law of sets. I'll see you in the forthcoming video on the De Morgan's law on sets.